Have you ever gazed at the pyramids of ancient Egypt while watching the Discovery Channel? At some point or another, we all have. Think about living in a pyramid. The fact that the ancient pyramids were built with all stone walls, minimal ventilation, and no modern conveniences suggests that they may not have been very pleasant. Consider living in a futuristic pyramid, because that's exactly what the Shimizu Mega City Pyramid is. What is the futuristic idea that will be built in Tokyo? Is this building science fiction, or can it be a future reality? That's just what we're here to find out today. Make sure to keep watching until the end. Trust me, this will blow your mind. Shimizu Corporation When it comes to infrastructure and technology, Japan is known as one of the most developed nations in the world. Over 93% of the country's population uses the internet, and Japan is home to some of the world's top innovators in the construction and infrastructure development industries. The Shimizu Corporation, a company that specializes in architecture, civil engineering, and general contracting, is regarded as one of the top 20 construction companies worldwide and among the top five in Japan. Therefore, it is not surprising that they have ambitious goals for the development of their company as well as the layout of workplaces and retail establishments in Japan. One of their ideas, the Mega City Pyramid, combines cutting-edge technology with the sustainability to build a utopian city. The proposal finds solutions for many of the urgent problems facing Japan and the rest of the globe, such as overcrowding, pollution, and oil-dependent transportation. Shimizu's Mega City Pyramid is aesthetically stunning and represents the pinnacle of engineering design while having a lower footprint than would be required for a regular city. Mega City Pyramid Over Tokyo Bay in Japan, a pyramid known as the Shimizu Mega City is planned. With a size 14 times greater than the Great Pyramid of Giza, the structure's sheer immensity would dwarf all other constructions. It could accommodate 750,000 people, making it the largest man-made structure in the world, alleviating some of the crowding issues in Tokyo. In fact, the size of the pyramid is such that the weight of the materials needed to construct it would be impossible. Future availability of robust, lightweight carbon nanotube technology is a requirement for the design. Huge carbon trusses and tubular beams assembled with the aid of robotic arms and air-filled membranes are part of the megacity pyramid's architecture. The three-dimensional framework would enable the city's business and housing needs to be fully satisfied by supporting buildings of different sizes and shapes inside the metropolis. The struts made of carbon nanotubes would provide the extraordinary strength required to endure almost any natural calamity or injury. The building was envisioned by the company as a long-term solution to Tokyo's demographic problems. There was only so much viable room to plop down buildings, given the country's hilly island terrain. In light of this, the Shimizu Corporation made the decision to build a substantial pyramid on the ocean that could hold numerous tall structures stacked on top of one another. The structure would host a separate micro-community. There would be 240,000 housing units included enough for the 750,000 population. The community's residents would have access to employment thanks to the substantial amount of space that would be devoted to offices and commercial establishments. A variety of renewable energy technologies, such as solar PV film, wind power, and even algae pond scum, would be used to power the home and businesses. So, how would you navigate a pyramid-shaped city suspended over the ocean with no streets? Simple mechanized pods for rapid transit, incline elevators, and accelerating walkways. With an estimated 750,000 residents, it's only natural that the megacity would have a significant demand for transportation to bring everyone to all of their regular destinations. The city intends to become the first megacity without a dependency on oil, which is astonishing. This implies that there won't be any conventional cars in the city itself. This implies less emissions and air pollution for the metropolis of Tokyo, which the megacity is intended to be built right next to. For years, the city has been choked by pollution. Currently, just 25% of Tokyo has been paved, and people's top concerns include transportation. Traffic moves so slowly during peak hours in downtown Tokyo that it is more effective to stroll than to deal with the gridlock. This issue would be resolved by the megacity pyramid by getting rid of the highways. Instead, 
they have built paths within the hollow trusses to make up the city's framework. Within those boundaries, autonomous electric pods may quickly transport passengers wherever they need to go at the touch of a button, without the need for a driver, as they are driven by computers and adhere to magnetic paths that run beneath the surface of the road. Moving throughout the city would be possible along the trusses not only horizontally, as would be the case in a traditional metropolis, but also diagonally and vertically. This makes it possible to commute considerably faster than is possible in two dimensions and on the ground. The pods, also referred to as ultra for urban light transit, that have been recommended for usage in cities, have previously been tested in actual settings. To enable a seamless transition from the current city to the new one, experts have also figured out a means to combine the intelligent design with the present design in Tokyo. The autonomous electric train that currently connects Tokyo to the bay may one day allow passengers to access the brand new pyramid metropolis. The transportation system for the new metropolis was carefully planned. The Obayashi Research Center has been used to allow testers to use 3D technology glasses to try the new trains and pods in a totally virtual environment to work out any potential kinks before even breaking ground in order to ensure that the new concepts for transportation work and make sense for the average rider. Many areas of technology and transportation have changed and are still improving since the Mega Metropolis Pyramid was first envisioned in 2004 with a notional completion date of sometime around the early 22nd century. More options will probably be on the horizon as the globe concentrates more on electric alternatives to oil-burning transportation. However, by the time the final build begins, they may no longer be the best option, meaning that some details of the Mega City proposal may already be outdated, at least as it was originally drafted. In 2010, the personal transportation pods conceptualized for use in the Mega City were finalized with all kinks worked out and installed and began operating in Heathrow Airport in London, England. The Shimizu Pyramid is an innovative urban environment rather than a physical structure. It fits two dozen 80-story skyscrapers into a three-dimensional frame, covering an area larger than 275 city blocks. To lease that much land would cost more than $10 billion annually. The Great Pyramid of Egypt, which is composed of 55 smaller pyramids, each roughly the size of the Giza Pyramid, is proportionally similar to the Shimizu Pyramid, a fully functional, self-sufficient metropolis with all the necessities for anyone, including residences, businesses, and parks. The Shimizu Pyramid will be the biggest building in the world if it is built, but right now, there are still several technological challenges to be solved. What do you think of this gigantic building? Can such a remarkable building be made by humans? Should it ever be constructed? Would you live there? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed today's video, Make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.